So Tyson Fury <laughs> supposedly beat Francis Ngannou by a split decision at the weekend in Saudi. We were banned from covering the fight. Were we banned? We were. From covering the fight by Fury's team. So instead, TalkSport's very own Adam Catchell brought you a live watch-along of the event. Catchell said he doubts if Fury is the greatest heavyweight we've ever seen. Have a listen. Tyson Fury claims to be the greatest heavyweight of our generation. His team profess that he is the greatest heavyweight of our generation. As of many of the fan base that follow the sport, they will say the exact same thing. My question is, how do you come to that conclusion? If it's just eye test, fair enough. I think a lot of people would agree with that. But for me, when you're talking about greatness, you've got to have numbers, facts and figures to be able to back up your argument. Tyson Fury has only been in six world title fights. He's had 34 professional bouts, six of them world title fights. Three have come against the same bloke. He's defended the title on three occasions, twice against fellas that he's previously beaten. There is a guy in his era that has had 12 heavyweight world title fights. He's defended on seven separate occasions and has unified the division against the, another undefeated champion. It's interesting what he says there, mm. Adam Catcher. I do think, we both watched the fight together, you and I, not together. I do think it's one of the most embarrassing moments in any sport, right? When you evaluate it, you've got supposedly, by his own admission, Tyson Fury, the greatest heavyweight that's ever lived, mm. up against a guy who's two years old at 37, that he's never, ever had a professional boxing match. Yeah. Has never boxed, from what we're led to believe. And uh, he absolutely schooled him. He, he floored him in round three. <laughs> He won the fight, in my opinion, Me in ninety percent of people's opinions. There are. I watched the fight. I thought Laura Woods was absolutely incredible. By the way, in the build up to it, six hours of filling yet to do. God bless her for that. Um, but you've got people like Lennox Lewis sat next to her, who I think has has to defend boxing. Of course, he does. Right, I understand that. But then you've got. Um, is it was it Cole Frampton that was there? Yeah, he said it. He said it plain and simple. Yeah, which it was. I just think. I just think it's 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 just so embarrassing. Like. He's a lump in Ghana, right? But I've seen other lumps in boxing ring with boxing experience yeah. that have got nowhere near Tyson Fury. No. It's just so embarrassing. Do you know, it almost feels like maybe he didn't train um, for the time. Or, or not so much training, but maybe he just didn't have that eye on the prize. Like he was almost thinking, right, you sick, you sick. So I'll go in there, I'll dance around with Ngarno for a bit. I'll just, he'll probably try and take my head off. I'll just jab his head off. I'll just relax in there, have a good time, give him on the show. But I'm guessing he didn't realise the skill set Ngarno had, which was better than he thought. I'm still not saying he's a. It's nuts. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's like, as a sportsman, you go in there, you take it a little bit easy. It's, I tell you what, I'll give you an analogy. You know, like a, a Premier League team going to like a lower league side in the FA Cup and you go, the man always says, you know what, make sure you do it properly or it could be a tricky. And sometimes you go into these games going, do you know what, we've got Premier League game on, on, on the Saturday or midweek. Do you know what we'll do? We'll just, we'll go in there, lads. We'll put a few passes together. We'll go try and go one up really early and then just... Well, well, I don't think it out. is like that. No, but no, but then, no. But, no, but then you get in there, and in the first 10, 15 minutes, you've not gone in there with the right attitude. It's ferocious, and all of a sudden, can't turn it around. No, you're I, struggling. I think it's that analogy. But the the low league team you're talking about, or a hockey team that have decided to try and play football, that's the difference. Yeah, but this all, guy's not a fighter. All of not, a, sorry, he's not a boxer. All of a sudden, Fury's gone in there and gone. Do you know what? Oh my goodness, he's better than I thought. And oh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Like yeah. he's, he's not he's not doing what I thought he would, which is engaging me. He's going to be the best in the world. He was letting Fury come to him, but. Wow, what a performance. For, for, considering he's never boxed before, what a performance. It was. Um, we'll take calls and say, I want to play this out. This is interesting. Now, in the build-up to Tyson Fury's fight against Francis Ngannou, he was asked when he plans on getting in the ring with Alexander Usyk for the Undisputed Heavyweight Championship of the World. This is what he had to say in the build-up to the fight. I expect it to be taking place in December. That's what I've been told, so I've got no reason to disbelieve it. Usyk has to fight me in December. He doesn't have a choice. He signed a contract, so if he doesn't, he's breached contract and he gets sued. So, yeah, he's... Uh, doesn't really have a choice. It doesn't have a choice. He signed the contract. If he doesn't fight me in December, he'll get sued. Two days later, after the Ngannou fight, he changed his tune a little bit. This is what he had to say about when the fight will take place. The biggest fight of our generation on the fight of the century for the Undisputed Championships of the World. See you all sometime next year. Have a good Christmas if I don't see you. And a happy new year. I wonder if, if Tyson Fury fans are getting a little bit despondent with him now. Because he changes his tune all the time. I'm retiring. I'm going to do 10 fights. It's going to be free. I'm only coming back for half a billion pound. It's going to be this year. You know now it's, it's going to be next I, year. I, I think he probably planned on that December fight, but his face was boss up. I, I, I don't think he really... I, th I don't think he took it seriously. But when I saw the state of his face after the fight, I remember thinking, oh my goodness. And looked at Ngannou, perfect. Mm. Not one little scratch. And look, and when you look at the t the shape of both men, yeah, right. I don't care what you say. 
if you're a boxer, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're in the gym every day, you shouldn't be looking I'll like that. I never get it. You, you shouldn't what, look like that. Do you know what is fantastic, though? I know you've got guys to break. That promo video they do, that's incredible. That, that was but when he's throwing the ball against the wall. Yeah, and, and then he's doing, doing the ropes. That I was agree incredible, with you. that. That was great. What wasn't incredible was uh, Tyson's yeah, performance. performance. It was awful. I think it's ridiculous. Like, and I think, I don't know, obviously, Money Talks and that, that um, Your Excellency, whatever his name is, everything like, it, I, feel, I feel like with the Usyk fight and the Undisputed on the card, it was too much money for that to, to go wrong, for that not to go ahead. You know, if, that, if, if Francis Ngannou got that win, it sort of puts the spanner in the world. It's a, it? Yeah. Money, money talks. I let, like. let me ask you now, Alex. What do you th- we've got a few options as to what we would like to see happen next. One of them is a rematch of Ngannou, one of them is Usyk, one of them is AJ. What would you like to see next? Yeah, I sound like a hypocrite because I would like to see the Undisputed fight next, but if, if I'm taking a moral high ground, it should be a rematch because, you know, it, 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 he won the fight. It's blatantly, it's blatantly, and don't get me wrong, as us sports public, we like the underdog, yeah? So when, mm. you're, when you're sort of scoring a scorecard, you are kind of favouring and got what I was a little bit because I wanted to see him win because, you know, it's, it, everyone wants to see the underdog win. But you can't even, it, it, he won regardless for that, you know? It's, it's blatant. It's do, you know, blatant. Do, do you know what the only Thanks, thing I say Sam. about Alex, Alex is thinking, and makes a great point, is I probably wouldn't want to see the rematch because Fury now knows exactly what he's up against. So he'd probably destroy him in the rematch because they would. Because Fury now knows exactly what. In Ghana's bringing to the table, so I'd expect for you. So I wouldn't want to see the rematch. I quite like this unknown where he should have won. He didn't get the result, but I don't want to see it again. It's fraud. Like it's, it's like he is the most overrated heavyweight boxer that I've ever seen. You know who's he for? He fought Wilder. Wilder's not for anyone. He hasn't named someone good. Wilder's for, and, and we'll, we'll be. You know you won't be able to. He's not for anyone. He dodges all these you know, people. Every fight he has, he uses. This is the first fight, by the way, he's used where he's not mentioned Anthony Joshua. For years and years and years, I'll fight him, I'll fight him. The boss said, oh, I'll do it for free. Oh, I'm coming out of retirement. I'm retired. We're all bored of him. He just chats ch- ch- absolute rubbish. You know, how many people think Fury won? Is anyone going to call him? Well, I think Fury won because no one thinks that. He, you know, Francis took them punches. He absolutely ate them, and he put them on the ground. He won the fight. You know, there was rounds where you know, close each way. He got beat. He lost. He's being a massive fraud. We're all bored of it now. We just want to see him fight AJ, and we just want to see him fight Usyk. AJ, you know, I, I'm not AJ's biggest fan, but AJ will fight absolutely anyone. He will, and, and so you know, he, he just dodges so many people, and he, he tries to play the mind games. Everyone's bored of it. His, his brother or his cousin, he got beat last a few weeks ago too. To, to just to just get found out. That's it. That's the simple fact of it. Okay. It's interesting, man. Mm, I don't know about, I mean, listen, John T. Wilder is one of the, the, the hardest hitters on the planet. Um, I mean, a lot of people dodge Lewis Ortiz, didn't want to fight him, he's fought him twice. Uh, but the whole dodging situation, and which is why we spoke, oh, it? Gary, um, the UFC came in. Gary Lee. Lee Gary. Ian, Ian Gary. Ian. Ian Gary. And he spoke about the... the, the Don't get his name right. I can't yeah, crap out The me. rankings and how you earn that title shot. It, it does feel like in the yeah, heavyweight it's division. It's totally different in UFC. They yeah. do it the, the right way. The right way. But it's a heavyweight division. You, you never know who's ducking who. Ngannou won that fight hands down. Fury, he was beaten. He was a beaten man. He's, he's, Did you want him to back. lose, Dave? Do you know what? I can't stand the bloke, if I'm being honest. I did want him to lose. Uh, and that's what makes me even more gutting. And go on who won that fight all day long. And I think Fury didn't expect it at all. Yeah. Mm. I sort of felt going to the ring. I, I sort of felt, Dave, for Ngarno to win it, he was gonna to have to knock him out. I, I, I get what you're saying. I do get what you're saying. I mean he knocked him down, didn't he? He knocked him down. And I, I think because of the crossover thing, I think the judges were a bit like, what do we do? You know what I mean? Mm. I, I think Ngarno won the fight. I'm a big Fury fan. I do believe he is the best fighter of his generation, but I do believe he struggles for motivation as well. I I think he hasn't really been tuned up for any fight since Wilder 3. Paul, Paul let me ask you, Paul, you're, you're a Fury fan, right? I'm glad you phoned up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When, when you say things like, you know, he needs to get a bit off of motivation, might not have trained and so on, I, I still have a problem with trying to get my head around the fact the so-called greatest heavyweight on the planet, and he calls himself one of the greatest heavyweights of all time, so do other people, up against someone that's two years older than him, hasn't fought in UFC for over 600 days and was schooled by him. I can't, I just can't for the life of me get my head around that. It's, I think it's one of the most embarrassing moments in, in not just boxing, in sport. Yeah, I kind of agree. I think he turned up a bit complacent and he, he, he relies on his weight. He relies on his strength to sort of press people and then win just with his size. He couldn't do that because the other guy is so strong. He was like stone. He, he couldn't, he was weaker in, in it, like in the clinches and things. He, 
Fury looked weaker, which would never happen again. It won't happen again, Usyk, even if he doesn't train, you know. And, and I think that really knocked him. I think before the knockdown, Fury looked a bit uh, weaker than he was expecting to be. I think he's been complacent since Wilder 3. I, I really do. I think he... Uh, I went to the Dillian White fight. Uh, I, I didn't go at the last one. I paid £800 to look at the backs of people's heads. <laughs> oh, uh, Twi Twitch I, I, is really I, paying I, well, isn't it? I think he really does. He, he's a, an amazing fighter, but I think he, he believes in himself. And I, I think he puts in what he thinks he needs to put in. It's the way it looks, you know. He looks so different. Paul, 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 you think, he Paul if, look, if, if, if he won't be that way next time, you know, it'll be lighter. It'll be a stone lighter next time. Paul, do you think if it's a rematch, it'd be the same outcome, or do you think Fury would take it more seriously and, and beat him I more convincingly? Fury would, Fury would come in a stone lighter. He wouldn't be getting knocked down. I think he would look a very different person. Okay. I think he will against Usyk, and I think he'll beat Usyk easily, unfortunately, okay. whether people like him or not. Paul, I do think he's the best. Yeah, I do. Paul, just quickly, your mum's texting. What's have you done your homework for tomorrow? Uh, no, I, I ain't got time for that. No. <laughs> well, go go to your room and tidy it. Uh, what do you make of grown men playing computer games? Well, no, because I do it as well. Yeah, but do you still do that? Yeah, Call of Duty, Warzone. How long are you on Call of Duty for, roughly? Hour. And what, you got a headset on going to your mates? Oh, where are you? Are yeah, you of course, man. So sad. What a game. Warzone. Is it? Yeah. Resurgence. Yeah, yeah. Duos. Yeah? Yeah. Vond Sad Vondel. Sadness. A oh, great game. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Vondel. I joined tonight. What's your online name? You think I'm about to give that out? Right. <laughs> Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.